Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 at GM on your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation as well as the first iPad. For those of you that don't know, GM stands for Gold Master Edition and it's the release right before the public version of iOS 5 and you don't actually have to be an Apple developer and have your UDID registered with Apple to restore to iOS 5 at GM. You just have to actually find the firmware to download and then you can restore to it if you have the latest beta version of iTunes but again I'm not going to provide you guys with links for the latest beta version of iTunes or the iOS 5 GM firmware download because that is against Apple's developer terms so I will just provide you guys with a link to the latest version of Red Snow and I will also have uh, full written instructions on a post down below in the more info and for iOS 5 GM and the latest beta version of iTunes you guys can google that and I'm sure you'll find download links but I'm just going to show you guys that I am on an iPod Touch 4th generation right now. So as you can see, I have the camera there, which means I'm on a 4th generation. And I'm going to show you guys that I am on iOS 5 because I have newsstand. I also have reminders and I have the notification center. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside of settings at general about. And for the version, it also says 5.0. So you know I'm on iOS 5 GM. Alright, and to uh, start off, I'm just going to say that this is a tethered jailbreak, so every time you need to power off your device and turn it back on, you will have to run Red Snow's Just Boot mode to actually boot on into that tethered jailbreak. So now that I've got that out of the way, you'll also need, again, your IPSW because you'll have to point Red Snow at it because it does not auto-detect iOS 5 yet. So. Here we go, we're opening up Red Snow. And again, like I said, it doesn't auto detect it, so you can't hit jailbreak just yet. You'll be able to hit that once we select the iOS 5 GM IPSW. So hit extras and then hit select IPSW and then browse for it. Mine's right on my desktop, so I can hit open. It successfully identified it. And then you can go ahead and go back. And now we're gonna hit jailbreak and it will prepare your jailbreak data. So as you can see, it's preparing the jailbreak data right now, and you'll get a couple of different options when it finishes. You get install Cydia, install custom bundle, which we're not worried about, because all we really want to do is install Cydia. You get a couple of other options. If you're on an iPod Touch, you get the option to enable battery percentage. If you want that, you can have it checked, otherwise you don't need it. And you can also enable multitasking gestures as well. So I want that, and I'm gonna go ahead and check it. So we're just gonna hit next from here and it's going to tell you to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off, and you're gonna go ahead and enter DFU mode, and it will walk you through how to do that. But what I like to do is go ahead and do it ahead of time, and the reason for this is because it gives you a couple times to try if you mess up, and it will automatically bypass this screen once you've successfully entered DFU mode. And the cool thing is you don't actually have to turn it off. What you can do is just have it plugged in and hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds, now once that 10 seconds is up, you're gonna let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 15 seconds. As you can see, it bypassed that screen and now it is just exploiting my iPod Touch with LimeRain. I'm actually going to leave this running through the entire process so you guys can get a feel for how long everything takes. All right, now it says the rest of the process will take place on your device. So I'm just going to let it play through on my iPod Touch here, and uh, I'll just be back when it's done.
Now moving applications will take some time, so definitely don't do anything like try and hard reboot your device because again, it is working and it will just take some time to actually finish moving the applications. So I'm just going to let it play through in real time and I'm not gonna cut anything out so you guys can get a feel for how long this should take on a freshly restored iDevice. All right, there we go. It finally finished moving applications and it's installing bundles right now. And this doesn't take long at all. And then it will actually reboot your device and we will need to boot into it tethered. And I'm going to show you why and explain that once it finishes booting up. All right, so uh, we can go ahead and click back in Red Snow and back again. And we're just going to leave it here as if we're just now opening it. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to boot it tethered. All right, so here we go. We are back. I'm going to show you why you need to boot tethered. That's because this jailbreak doesn't take advantage of an untethered exploit, meaning every time you power off your device and turn it back on, you will need to plug it in and you will have to rerun Red Snow's just boot mode to get it to boot up properly. Now, as you can see, the first time you boot up, Cydia will not work. It will be a white icon and Safari will not work. It will just crash like so. And before you boot tethered, what you need to do is exit out of Red Snow to make sure that everything works properly and then open up Red Snow again. And then what you're going to do is choose extras and then you're going to select IPSW just to be sure and select your iOS 5 GM firmware and then hit open and then hit okay to that and then you can hit just boot and it will tell you that you need to enter DFU mode once you hit next and to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. But we're going to do this ahead of time by holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 15 seconds and it'll bypass this screen. All right, there we go. So it has bypassed that screen and it is going into the tethered jailbreak and it's booting tethered right now. All right, here we go. So if you see the pineapple logo, you know you did it correctly. And once it does boot up, you will be able to use Cydia. So I'm going to wait for it to finish and show you guys that I do have access to both Safari now as well as Cydia. Because again, we did do the tethered boot. And I just wanna say this one last time, Every single time you have to power off your device, you need to plug it back into your computer and run Red Snow and do the just boot mode the same way I did it by selecting the IPSW for iOS 5 GM and then hitting just boot. 
All right, here we go. So now Safari does work. So we can hit done to that. And now Cydia does work as well. So I'm gonna just hit user and then hit done. And we're going to wait for it to load. And then I'm gonna scroll down and show you that it does say I'm on iOS 5. So we'll hit cancel to that. I'm going to scroll down here and it says iPod Touch 4th Generation iOS 5. So there you go. I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if it helped you and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, just be sure to hit that subscribe button up there to be notified every time I release a new video and that includes jailbreak videos as well. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and until next time, this is ICU signing out.